Yo, what's going on everybody on YouTube? It's your boy Wolfies, you know, I'm back with another sneaker pickup today. I got a pair of Vans. I'm um, super happy to have these. It took me forever to get them for a good price. Shout out to my boys over at Soul Freaks. That's S-O-L-E-F-R-E-A-K-S-S. -S. They really hooked me up on a price. My boy over there paid a little over 200 for these. It's the best price I've seen yet. And these are the... Vans Mountain Edition Fear of God uh, Collection 2, size 10 and a half. I recommend going down a half size from your normal size in Vans, but that's just me. You can try on a pair of Vans literally anywhere, basically. So give them a try if you've never tried them on before to really determine if you need to go down a half size. But I have the receipt right here. Happy I got these. They also came with a pair of extra black and a pair of extra white laces. So let's get into the shoe here. Here they are. And here we go. Flip this one around really quick. All right, guys, so here it is, the Vans Fear of God Mountain Edition. In my opinion, this was the best shoe out of the pack. The arrows were nice, but I do when I seen like teaser pictures of these like I seen Jerry Lorenzo wearing them on Instagram one of the like super early pictures months ago I was like I need that pair if they drop like that's the pair that I need and I'm happy that I managed to get them for a great price because we've seen what happened with the last year's collection they were all cheap for a little bit around 200 to 300 dollars and then out of nowhere it was like boom dude they just skyrocketed so I'm happy I got these now so let's get into the shoe as you guys can see, we have a white midsole with a black lining that goes all the way across, or all the way around, I should say, with that classic waffle outsole color. Then as we go into the upper parts of the shoe, you see we have a primarily red suede that goes throughout the upper. Very, very nice suede too, which is expected out of Vans. They always kill it with their materials. It's crazy that we pay $100 or less for a pair of Vans and then people pay $190 for a pair of Jordans that have fake leathers and paint crack, like paint cracking and ripping and all that other crap. That's why I don't really mess with Jordans anymore. They just, they're overcharging for no reason. But that's besides the point. We're talking about these. Um, as you guys can see on the side panel, toe box and ankle panel, you have that black background with the fear of God hit all throughout the entire thing, which is super dope in my opinion. It's dope that they made it. Um, the background black and the letters white. Can't go wrong with a red, black, and white shoe. It's just awesome. Then you have that Vans Mountain Edition hit right there. It's like a stamp on the red suede. Very nice. Then we're going to go to the back of the shoe here. You have a red suede panel. And above it, you have more of that Fear of God hit on the ankle panel. That Vans off the wall stamp <clears throat> on the back of the midsole with that black lining that continues to go all the way around the shoe. Now we'll go into the front. Actually, we'll go to the medial side first. You have more of that Fear of God hit right there on the mid panel. More red suede that goes up into the awesome strap, which I love. The strap is so dope. You can unstrap it, but I only have one hand, so actually I can get it up there. If I can't get it. See? Pretty sweet. I love that. They, oh yeah, they come with uh, two sets of white laces, probably because we all know that the red suede is gonna bleed on the white laces. It's just the nature of the shoe, which sucks, but it is what it is. I'll probably keep uh, the white laces in. Then you have a metal, what is that called? Um, it's not an aglet, an eyelet, yeah. A white eyelet that's there, and it's also on the outer side of the shoe. And then you have a black tongue white stitching on the black piping and then on the tag it says vans Let's see if i can focus on that a little better vans mountain edition in black red in a white background so all in all this is a very dope shoe i'm super happy to have it couldn't be happier honestly it took forever for me to get this three tries actually the first time the guy scammed me he had a hundred percent positive feedback had like over 50 sales on ebay all 100 percent positive and he scammed me of all people like damn man it's just my luck um 
Then the second time I bought a pair for maybe a little overpriced. At, well, not at the time. It was like two eighty. And I after I bought them, I texted the guy because we did this like, and he said if I had any problems to text him. So I was like, hey man, can you send me a couple pictures of the shoes? And he goes, yeah man, I got you. And then I was, he didn't reply for hours, so I texted him back and was like, hey man, can I get those pictures? And he responded and said, you're bugging me out, dude. I'm or I'm uh, giving you a return. And I was like, what? Why? And he just returned my money which was annoying because it took a couple of days to process through my bank because the process is like a return and then I finally got these for my guys over at Soul Freaks well my guy over at Soul Freaks for a little over $200 so shout out to you man he was trying to sell them for a lot higher but he said hey man I'll help you out because I told him about everything that happened he really really looked out for me uh, so give that guy a follow that is right here Soul Freaks on Instagram S-O-L-E F-R-E-A-K-S-S. -S. So that's it, guys. Let me know if you guys pick these up. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at WolfEasy, W-O-L-F-E-A-Z-Y. And on Twitter, W-O-L-F-E-Y-X-O, Wolfie X-O. So that's it, guys. Please subscribe. It goes a long way. And that's it. Peace.